Whenever you're ready, Joey. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. It's that special time of the year again. Nothing says let's sweeten up that honey pot more than springtime. A little spring cleaning, if you will. You can't have your wife's cooter stinking up the block when the windows and doors are open after a long, hard winter. A little Dr. Gein's vagina maintenance is just what you need to cover up that funk. Ping. With Mother's Day coming, nothing says you love her more than our special poontang potpourri. You'll think you woke up in a bed of roses instead of the dumpster behind Long John Silver's. Fuck, that's gross. Pick up a tub of our poontang potpourri this month and get a complimentary Dr. Gein's vagina maintenance clothespin for your nose to help keep that stank away. Dr. Gein's vagina... <laughs> I made it all that long. <laughs> all right, I'll do it again. This is the kind of ridiculous stuff that <laughs> just keeps us it. laughing. We, we love doing it. You haven't been able to notice that. <laughs> so, Chris, you having a good time over there? Dude, I all right, here we go. All right, Joey. Now, I've noticed you changed your voice. You're not doing it in the same, but that's fine. Yeah, just, I know. think I'm actually doing it in a couple different voices. Yeah, I think it's not <laughs> You're not going into a Cheech Baron, though? Right. It? Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> no, okay, now I'm going to change it up because you said that. That was going to be even different. Okay. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. It's that special time of the year again. Nothing says let's sweeten up that honey pot more than springtime. A little spring cleaning, if you will. You can't have your wife's cooter stinking up the block when the windows and doors are open after a long, hard winter. A little Dr. Gaines vagina maintenance. Ching! It's just what you need to cover up that funk. With Mother's Day coming, nothing says you love her more than our special poontang potpourri. Poontang potpourri. Poontang potpourri. You'll think you woke up in a bed of roses instead of that dumpster behind Long John Silver's. Fucking gross. Pick up a tub of our poontang potpourri this month and get a complimentary Dr. Gein's vagina maintenance clothespin for you to close your nose when you smell that gross-ass cunt. Dr. Gein's vagina maintenance. We've been serving Snatch Up for more than 50 years. That was awesome, <laughs> that was dude. Crazy. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell was the deal with the cha -cha? Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. It's that special time of the year again. Nothing says let's sweeten up that honey pot more than springtime. A little spring cleaning, if you will. You can't have your wife's cooter stinking up the block when the windows and doors are open after a long, hard winter. A little Dr. Gein's vagina maintenance ching, is just what you need to cover up that funk. With Mother's Day coming, nothing says you love her more than our special Poontang Potpourri. P -p Poontang Potpourri! Poontang Potpourri! You'll think you woke up in a bed of roses instead of that dumpster behind Long John Silver's fucking gross. Pick up a tub of our Poontang Potpourri this month and get a complimentary Dr. Gein's Vagina Maintenance Clothespin for you to close your nose when you smell that gross-ass cunt. Dr. Gein's Vagina Maintenance. We've been serving Snatch Up for more than 50 years. Joe <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right. Howdy, y'all. Anyone can just rent a car. That's boring. How about renting an actual car used by a serial killer to help spice things up a bit? She'll love it when you show up for that first date in the murder mac driven by the toolbox killers. Or how about the pickup truck Joel Rifkin used to stash his dead hookers? Or even the 1949 Ford sedan Ed Gein used to bring the home. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, wow. That's all right. We'll get it. Again, get, get, howdy, y'all. Anyone can just rent a car. That's boring. How about renting an actual car used by a serial killer to help spice things up a bit? She'll love it when you show up for the first date in the murder Mac driven by the toolbox killers. Or how about that pickup truck Joel Rifkin used to stash his dead hookers? Or the 1949 Ford sedan Ed Gein used to bring home dead women from the cemetery in Plainfield. Woo-wee! 
<clears throat> Here at Serial Car Rentals, we can do more than cars and light trucks. How about renting the Manson family bus for your entire family vacation? All your kid can fit in there, and they might find some LSD from back in the day. Nothing says let's hit the road like some stank-ass hippie fuck bus. You'll all clap for more. Telling y'all, call us today at 800 Killer Rides or download our app to rent you some killer. <laughs> Telling y'all, call us today at 800 Killer Rides or download our application to rent your serial killer ride today. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this shit is so ridiculous. Oh wow. Oh, that's kind of cool. The Chris Cam going on over there. Fuck yeah. But, uh, that was good. Good stuff. Oh man. Got lots of funny shit to use there. <laughs> get, get, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god wow <laughs> it sound like roscoe p culture i know that's what i was thinking <laughs> roscoe p culture <laughs> oh man <laughs> i can't wait till you got these all together like i know these shit. are gonna be really funny i haven't had time to put music on them yet so i gotta little, dig that shit out <laughs> I thought my date would love a ride in Ted Bundy's Volkswagen. That rape kid on the back seat was the perfect touch. I'm not sure why Velma screamed until I finally let her out. <laughs> yeah, that's, right. that's, that's funny. Well, Fuck, my wife and I, we were in a fucking Ed Kepper's fucking car and drove around picking up fucking hitchhikers, man. Man, we watched them scream and scream until we let them out the passenger door because they couldn't get that son of a bitch open. We wouldn't let them. That was fucking great, dude. Oh, man. Get, 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 howdy, y'all. Anyone can just rent a car. That's boring. How about renting an actual car used by a serial killer to help spice things up a bit? She'll love it when you show up for the first date in the Murder Mac, driven by the Toolbox Killers. Or how about that pickup truck Joel Rifkin used to stash his dead hookers? Or the 1949 Ford sedan Ed Geat used to bring home dead women from the cemetery in Plainfield. Woo-wee! I thought my date would love a ride in Ted Bundy's Volkswagen. That rape kid on the back seat was the perfect touch. I'm not sure why Velma screamed until I finally let her out. Here at Serial Car Rentals, we can do more than cars and light trucks. How about renting the Manson family bus for your entire family vacation? All your kid can fit in there, and they might find some LSD from back in the day. Nothing says let's hit the road like some stank-ass hippie fuck bus. You'll all clap for more. Fuck, my wife and I, we were in a fucking Ann Kepper's fucking car, and you around picking up fucking hitchhikers, man. Man, we watched them scream and scream until we let them out the passenger door, because they couldn't get that son of a bitch open. We wouldn't let them. That was fucking great, dude. Telling y'all, call us today at 800 Killer Rides or download our application to rent your serial killer ride today.